Now you might be surprised with this uh, because I've created a lot of content on GCP. Which cloud should you learn in 2025 if you want to become a DevOps engineer? Is it AWS, GCP or Azure? Choosing the right one can give you higher chances of getting selected for the interviews. If you choose a wrong one, then you might get into a heavy competitive market and you might not even crack the interviews. So in this video, I'll break it down for you based on my experience, what cloud you should choose. So I've done similar video a couple of years back. I've explained to you uh, which cloud you should pick. But I was a little diplomatic there because I wanted you to pick any cloud and go with that. But this time around, I'll give you the best suggestion. I'll give you my recommendation, one cloud that you should pick if you ask me right now. And for those who are not aware of how big companies or how enterprises choose these cloud service providers, I'll, I'll first explain that. And that way you will know how companies follow multi-cloud strategies. So in any big company, I'm talking about big corporate companies who are heavily dependent on compute resources, pick AWS and Azure, and who would like to pick more stuff, the AIML stuff, or who think that uh, GCP offers better AIM, AIML or data services, they pick GCP. So they choose one cloud service provider as their main go-to cloud for compute resources. And then uh, for other resources, for other services, they choose secondary clouds such as Azure and GCP. And it can be similarly, they'll pick Azure as the main cloud service provider and then they will have secondary cloud service providers. One for the cost savings and there might be other reasons such as Azure will give you better discounts uh, and their workloads are heavily on Microsoft based uh, licensing products so that they can get better discount and similarly for Oracle clouds as well. And this is how companies use cloud service providers. If you are fresh out of the college but have no experience and you want to become a DevOps engineer or an SR engineer, okay? then you can either pick AWS or Azure because a lot of jobs are there in these two clouds. And since you do not have any experience, even if you learn these two, you can also pick up GCP because you know most of the things are interchangeable in the terms of knowledge, like the terms that are used in the cloud computing world. So if you do not have any experience, you can pick either AWS or Azure, you won't go wrong with it. Because even when you go for interviews, uh, like fresher interviews or college campus interviews, they might ask you basic questions on any cloud. So which should be fine. Now, if you're already having IT experience or if you're transitioning from a QA background or a DBA background or any other IT background to SRE or DevOps roles and you want to learn cloud, then I would suggest you to pick the cloud that your company has invested in, which makes a lot of sense, logical sense, because let's say I'm a QA engineer, you know, I know that uh, other department who is currently working, helping applications to go to cloud, they are currently working on AWS. And it makes more sense for me to work, to get into that team. And, you know, and that way it's easier for me to learn AWS and understand from them how they are using that specific cloud instead of going by like what, what market demands. Because even if you go with GCP, then it'll be very difficult for you to you know, make a switch because it's it's tough to even put experience when your company itself hasn't invested on that cloud. And then another category is you're already currently working as a DevOps or SR engineer and you already are aware of AWS or Azure. Then my recommendation is definitely learn GCP. Like I've said, for the reasons that companies invest heavily on multi-cloud service providers and then they definitely use more than one cloud. So it will add more value for you, which is my prior experience as well because I started as AWS I started in AWS and then uh, learned GCP and most of my videos are on GCP. Now comes the final recommendation. If I had to pick one in 2025, then I would definitely pick Azure. Now you might be surprised with this uh, because I've created a lot of content on GCP. You might be expecting GCP as an answer, but that is not the case because I have done my research uh, and you can also do your research. There are more job openings on Azure, uh, whatever I have found. And you will see that uh, Azure is picking up in the terms of the number of jobs. And it is less competitive if you create a profile as an Azure DevOps engineer instead of AWS because there are a lot of veterans in AWS with whom you have to compete against. So what do you think? Do you think Azure is the right choice if you have to pick one cloud service provider in 2025 or maybe AWS? So if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section and let me know why do you think that uh, you would still go with AWS or GCP instead of Azure. But again, like I've said, you won't go wrong even if you choose AWS instead of Azure. And if you're confident of cracking the interviews, there are a lot of people who have done it. So going by uh, my research and uh, going by whatever I have seen, 
I'm just giving you my opinion. If you like this video, give it a like and let me know in the comment section what is the next topic that you want me to cover in the terms of DevOps, cloud and other topics. Thank you all again for watching this video.